Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now celebrating 17 years of broadcasting success, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you walked in. Join us once again, both for our radio audience in the South, as well as our online audience joining us through iHeartRadio. We're glad you all could be with us as well. Well, this has been, I think, a glass-half-full type of year for a lot of people. Now, it is true, for those who are planning on saying, I do, large wedding gatherings might be on hold because of the pandemic. However, one thing that is not on hold are couples coming together and deciding that they want to get engaged this year. In fact, a recent study shows that six in 10 engaged couples say the stay-at-home restrictions that a lot of us have been kind of rolling our eyes about have actually helped to strengthen their relationships during this time. Here to talk to us about the study as well as what many couples are looking for when it comes to a ring, we're excited to welcome Sally Morrison to our program. Sally is the Director of PR for Natural Diamond at De Beers Group. Sally, thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Sarah. I'm very happy to be talking to you today. Well, I, I'm glad to share some good news with our audience. Uh, you know, there's so much that we hear about these days that are, are not as pleasant, but people deciding to come together and to get married, I think that is a great thing. I mentioned this study of the six and ten engaged couples, uh, Sally. What has your reach showed when it comes to this increase in people that are getting engaged? Well, it's so interesting because we, we talked to um, this relationship expert. His name is Dr. Terry Real. And he said that the, the, the phenomena is that people are, have, have been forced to spend more time together um, very often 24-7. They're in the same house. They're working there. They're doing this. They're doing that. And so he said the, 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 the coronavirus lockdown has almost worked as an accelerant, right? So it's accelerated things that were going on anyway in the culture. And one of them is that if a couple is on a track to be together and they've met this challenge together, lived together through all these difficult times, lockdown, shortages, all these things, actually it's pushed them to make a commitment to each other sooner than they perhaps would have otherwise done. So what, what we're seeing is this uptick of people getting engaged. In many cases, they don't know how they can get married or when they can get married or when they'll be able to celebrate with their friends, but they're right. making a commitment to each other. Yes, we are going to be together and we're going to be together forever. And it's, it's to do with this sort of sense of, I think, accomplishment about having got through this year. Yeah, what a great thing. And it is a great way of looking at it. So with that, uh, definitely comes ring selection. So when it comes to what couples are looking at this year, Sally, uh, what are some of the important attributes that you've noticed that they're kind of considering? Well, I think one of the most important at attributes is authenticity. This is all, all about the symbolic union between two people, right, and what's important to them. And I think all of us this year are being forced to reflect on in our own lives, you know, what's important to us. And it's primarily the people in our lives who are important to us. And we've been able to simplify things and, and, and you know, get rid of a lot of other things in our life that we now find not to be necessary. So when we talk to people in this study, they said what was important to them when they were looking at rings was, A, the shape of the ring. Over 50% said they were interested in the shape of the diamond itself, and that would be the main thing they would be looking for. The second thing was design, how the ring was set, how it could be made personal, how it could be reflective of their own personal sort of sense of style, design, etc. Very significantly, what was way down the list, bottom, bottom, bottom of the list, less than 20% of people even mentioned size. And I think that oh, wow. a kind of new thing in the culture that we haven't seen in a while because we've been living in a culture for a long time where it was about bigger and make it more fabulous and more wattage and all this. We're not at that moment now. People are saying, I want something that reflects me, that reflects the relationship I'm in and, you know, the person I'm connected with. That is really interesting. That's really interesting. And it definitely is a shift, Sally, than what we typically do here about where people are kind of, that's kind of the main right. staple for them. So what should a customer let in our listening audience here, Sally, what should a customer look for when it comes to picking out a diamond for themselves? Well, I think, you know, we've got some great, great examples here on the table of some of those things we've talked about. For example, the shape of the diamond. Um, we've got two really beautiful ones here from Forever Mark. This one is um, a cushion cut. And it's a lovely sort of cushion, uh, chubby cushion set, set sideways. And this is an oval, again, in a very classic setting, very simple, knife edge setting, very pared down, 
but very pure and clean. It's all about sort of less is more. Um, we're also seeing an interest, I think, in classics with a twist for, for, for some people who are trying to make it very, very personal. Um, again, some ex really interesting examples here. Um, this is from Michelle Fantacci, who is a, a young independent designer. This is, again, a simple solitaire diamond ring, beautiful natural diamond ring, but it's in a very interesting shape. It's sort of like a, a trapezoid shape of diamonds. So a twist on the classic, but, but, but simple clean, kind of intimate. Well, I tell you, these days, again, we're always excited about good news and glad that you could share some with us, as well as some unique styles as well, Sally. Again, everyone, Sally Morrison has been our guest. She's the Director of PR for Natural Diamonds at De Beers Group. If you guys want to find out more about what Sally was talking about here that she has on display, you guys can go to www.forevermark.com. Again, it's www.forevermark.com. Even our good friend Michaela, you can see her selection. It's there on the website as well. Sally, again, thank you so much for this time. I really appreciate it. And looking forward to having you back again. Okay, such a pleasure. Have a lovely weekend. You as well, Sally. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Let's make today amazing. Take care.